Kueisha had opened a department made for Dragon Ball and only Dragon Ball. Now, while a lot of people are praising this, more specifically, content creators for Dragon Ball are praising it. I'm going to come out here and talk about how this is a terrible, terrible idea. And in all honesty, I'm debating not even supporting the Dragon Ball franchise in any way by not buying the universe 2 and things like that. The I am so against this idea. So they're going to open a department just for Dragon Ball and try to create new content. Now, this is very speculation at this point, speculation heavy, but they're probably going to be a new manga, new anime content. And I'm sorry, but I don't want Dragon Ball to turn into something like Batman or in the DC comics right now. We don't need three Dragon Ball mangas going on at once. Shonen Jump did not waste their time publishing those. If they come out in weekly or monthly jump, those are going to take up a slot. And I'm sorry, I do not want a slot wasted on the stupid Jocko manga. I don't give a crap about any of these spin-off theories. And you have no right. To, and there's no reason to fill the slot that something good could be taking. You want to know something? This is the one of the things that Jump does that makes them lose the right to publish amazing stuff like Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan was originally going to be in Jump, but Jump turned them down for something else to be put in its place. So now, they're going to have like three Dragon Ball manga running. Somebody's going to go to them with an amazing idea. And they're going to be like, no, be the Dragon Ball manga and make money. Or some crap like that. It's stupid. And it's not a path we want to take. Alright? We don't want... One of the great things about manga is that it's one story. It's one story. There'll be official manga. That's it. When I look at Naruto... You can read the light novels, they're interesting information that fill in the gap between 699 and 700. You don't need to read the light novels to know anything. Everything, that the, the main core story, the main canon story, is volume 1 through volume 72. There's 72 volumes of Naruto, right? It's 72, but it's chapter 1 through chapter 700. That's it. There, there's no side manga, none of that bullcrap. There's spinoffs and stuff after the series. But even those are being overseen by Kishi. In this department, Toriyama pretty much giving complete control to these new people. And all I'm guilty to get is they do this with Dragon Ball. And it does well. They're going to do it with other theories. And I am sorry, but a lot of other theories cannot function like this. Alright, I do not want a, a three Naruto manga ever in Shonen Jump. We don't need a One Piece, three One Piece manga to jump. We don't need that. And it, 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 I don't see why they would do this. It's a terrible road. And it's like them, it, they're pretty much using Dragon Ball to test this. Dragon Ball is incredibly popular. So they're testing it with Dragon Ball. And if it works, they're going to do it with theories that are really good. And they're going to ruin those theories. They're going to ruin the enjoyment of some of these theories. That they're going to just... And in multiple things. I wanted to turn into like the DC universe or the Marvel universe where you need to read all the different stories to know what's going on or to fully understand the character. If you want to expand on a character, you put it in the damn anime or the manga. The canon story. That's what every other that's what every other mangaka does. I'm sorry, it is. Sake is not the main character of Naruto. Did we get a Sake spin-off? No, he just fit it in. He just fit it in. Did we get a Shikamaru fit off? During the heat on and talking to work? So we, we didn't want to waste time. No, we just showed him a damn manga. And you want to expand on a character, put it in the manga. Do an arc based around that character. I don't care. But this is... Uh, it's unbelievably stupid. There is no need for a whole department that can complete control, control over it. There is no need for it, and it's going to make us go in a direction where we're going to start giving, creating departments to create different mangas for theories and, get, and not letting the author have full creative control. It is stupid. And it's all really totally on the fault, but he's a lazy piece of crap. He's lazy. He's a lazy little shit. He is. And that's the problem. Either end your theory or do your, or do your damn job and work on it. Don't throw it at other people and let them ruin it. 
It just people are saying is it good? Is it is it not good for the industry? We don't need the is this worth? Is, is adding multiple Dragon Ball manga published at once worth? They'll do it again. And they'll do it again. And they'll do it again with other theory. We don't need that. I'm sorry. If they ever start publishing more than one Dragon Ball Super manga, and if they publish a Botamo spin off or head spin off, I will not support it. And I will tell. I will not recommend supporting it. At this point, I'm recommending not supporting the franchise at all. Because this, this, this is just so stupid. It really is stupid. And I know what the fan base wants, but guess what? The fan base they have is filled with mostly 12 year olds who don't know what they're talking about. And I have no idea how this is going to work. It, this is going to work. Is it going to work like it would for anything else? They're going to try to quit Dragon Ball. It will, it will, and if it does well, they're going to create other spin offs and a kind of other stuff for other theories. So, I'm going to remind you, I'm going to remind all of you with something. Boruto the spin off. I just want to remind you, you know, you know that, you know that manga that everybody hates on on a monthly basis, Boruto. You know the one that's just rehashing the Boruto movie, with really crappy art. That's a spin off. Man, like that, that, that is rather the quality level of content they could give us. So you're 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 either going either you get good content. What does it matter? What does it matter? Because it just. It ruins all point in it. It isn't. It, 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 it the DC universe. It isn't the Marvel universe. You don't need that. You, a character can be a fan and item of show, and it is just. I really. I don't want multiple mangas for each franchise going on at once. I don't want that. And this is where Shonen Jump is gonna start taking it, and they're. And I'm sorry, they're stupid for that. I'm sorry, the stupid, stupid decision. And honestly, if you're supporting this, I'm sorry, you're an idiot. You, you have no idea how this, affects, how this could affect the industry. You're only thinking about how it will benefit Dragon Ball. Not how it will affect everything else. And it's just unbelievable. It really is. But yeah, yeah Jump is now creating a whole department to make content for things. And they're probably going to make multiple spin-offs and all the popular theories and ruin all and, and, and those theories are probably going to make everything really confusing. They're going to be plot holes. They're going to be retcon. Nothing's going to make sense. Maybe that's the same problem DC and Marvel have. They're probably going to start rebooting things. Like, I don't want that. Alright? I don't like the idea of a character not ending. Alright? These are... I don't like that. What you do. But what I like about manga is that it's a story. There are the characters have goals. They accomplish that goal. They finish the story. It ends. It's done. You get a couple of video games every once in a while, but it's done. Like Naruto. Yes, we have the Boruto spin off, but the story of Naruto Uzumaki is over. He be he saved his friend and became Hokage. It's done. Bye bye. No more. We're not gonna like you don't need to reboot these things. You don't need to make spin off. And it's just, I'm sorry, I, I do not condone this, I don't support it, and I think it's really damn stupid. But if you guys think it's a good idea, you do, I, good for you, I guess. But it's stupid. But tell me your thoughts in the comments. I mean, and, and don't, and don't talk about Dragon Ball. I want to hear, I want to, I'm more concerned about the industry. Alright, how do you think it's going to affect the industry? Tell me that. The manga industry as a whole. I don't want to hear about Dragon Ball. I know how this is going to affect Dragon Ball. But I'm more concerned about the industry. But the industry as a whole is way more important, in my opinion, than one theory. I would much rather super end right now than something in the manga industry go down that road. So, yeah. Hopefully they handle this properly. If they don't, jump. I want to congratulate you. You have managed to piss me off twice this year. The first time it with Bleach. When? And then they get into how I feel about uh, Bleach being rough. It was disrespectful. It, it was a disgrace. It was, no, we're not going to talk about that. And that both really stupid decisions. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all that nonsense. Bye.